DNA is one of the genetic materials of most living organisms including plants, animals, bacteria, fungi and viruses. It is the hereditary material responsible for the passing on of characters of the parents to their offsprings through generations. Information is stored within the DNA molecule in the form of genes which are made up of several codons formed by the four nitrogen bases, thymine, adenine, cytosine and guanine, in different combinations. Each codon is made up of a combination of any three of these four bases and are called triplet codons. These triplet codons are transcribed into the complementary mRNA which is then translated into the corresponding amino acids encoded by the triplet codons. These translated amino acids eventually form proteins, enzymes and other biomolecules that drive the various physiological functions within the organism. Extraction and isolation of this important molecule is the first step in any experiment on genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology. In biotechnology research, extraction of DNA is carried out using expensive enzymes and chemicals under controlled conditions in the lab setting. One can also extract and isolate DNA using cheap and easily available materials that one can find in any household. Although it's a rudimentary alternative to the method employed in the laboratory, the basic principle remains the same. The material is crushed to separate the cells. The cell wall and cell membrane of the cell are then destroyed to reveal the DNA, which is then extracted into a form that's visible to the naked eyes. In this video, we'll try to extract and isolate DNA from plant materials such as leaves using materials that you can find in your kitchen. To perform DNA extraction from plant cells, you will need the following. Blender or pestle and mortar. Weighing scale. Strainer or a funnel with filter paper cone. 250 ml beaker or cup. Ice cold water. Tablespoon or spatula. Test tube or a small graduated cylinder. 5 ml or 10 ml syringe or measuring pipette. Glass rod or plastic straw. Sodium chloride detergent powder or liquid soap or SDS, meat tenderizing powder or ice cold freshly prepared pineapple juice or papaya juice, ice cold ethanol or isopropanol. To begin the experiment, weigh 50 to 100 grams of the plant material. Transfer it into a pestle and mortar or blender and blend it with about 100 ml of ice cold water and half a teaspoon of common salt. The reason we add sodium chloride is because it has two important functions to perform. Sodium chloride helps to remove proteins that are found within the cell and also bound to the DNA. It also helps to keep the proteins dissolved in the aqueous layer so they don't precipitate in the alcohol along with the DNA in the later part of this experiment. The sodium ions create a temporary attraction between the positively charged sodium and the negatively charged phosphate backbone of the DNA, thus neutralizing the DNA. This makes DNA less hydrophilic and can easily be dissociated or precipitated from the water. Filter the blended mixture into a beaker using a strainer or a funnel with a filter paper cone. Add a tablespoon of detergent powder, dishwashing liquid soap or SDS to the filtrate in the beaker and stir the mixture gently. Allow the mixture to stand for 5 to 10 minutes. During this time, the detergent starts to dissolve the cell membrane of the plant cells, which is a lipid bilayer and also the cell wall. The detergent molecules interact with the lipid particles in the cell membrane and removes them, thus exposing the DNA or genetic material of the plant cells. After 10 minutes or so, transfer about 10 ml of the mixture in the beaker in a test tube or a graduated cylinder. Add a pinch of meat tenderizing powder or about 5 ml of pineapple juice or papaya juice to it. Gently agitate the test tube to mix the two liquids. Wait for 5 to 10 minutes for the digestion reaction to occur. Meat tenderizer contains papain enzyme. Pineapple contains bromelain enzyme. These are protease enzymes and are able to break down proteins bound to the DNA. Now hold the test tube in an inclined position and using a glass rod or pipette, Carefully add about 5 ml of ice-cold rubbing alcohol or ethanol such that the alcohol flows gently down the inner wall of the test tube 
and forms a layer on top of the digested plant extract in the tube. Observe the interface between the two liquids. You will find that the DNA begin to precipitate in the alcohol in the form of white, gelatinous strings or clumps. Alcohols such as ethanol and isopropanol are non-polar solvents. Addition of alcohol to the sodium-bound DNA forces the DNA and sodium ions to become even more tightly bonded, since alcohol is very non-polar. This tight binding between DNA and sodium makes it even more hydrophobic, and eventually the DNA dissociates or precipitates out from the water layer and into the non-polar alcohol layer in the form of a white cloudy precipitate at the water-alcohol junction. You can separate and remove the DNA thus obtained by spooling it onto a plastic straw or a wooden stick. This is all about extracting DNA from plant cells that you can perform at home. Thanks for watching.